Hey everyone, it's Amador. Um, and I made a card. This card actually took is has been a work in the pro. <laughs> it, how long has that? Okay, so I, I should probably collect my thoughts. Anyway, my coffee is going crazy. Um, I have been wanting to make this card in such a long time. I have made like one part and another part, and anyhow, um, if you guys have seen one of my previous hauls of um the older Tilda stuff. There, I I got, like, um, a bunch of, like, uh, the cutouts and everything, but there was one still elusive. I have yet to have it. I must have it. Like, this one. And this is the die cut sheet, and this is a gingerbread man. Now, I, I, I've also shown my gingerbread man um, uh, little accent pillows that I'm going to use on the couch for the holidays, and I've actually tried to make the little one. And I've shown this before, and it does look like... A little voodoo doll. This is my first one. It came out horribly, but the other other ones came out, you know, very very cute. So anyway, but this is the die cut sheet that I don't have and I crave. Like if anyone out there putting it out there, if anybody has this and they would like to trade or sell it to me, message me seriously. Like just name your price at this point because <laughs> I want it. I think I'm just one of those. I I was probably spoiled as a child and I'm like I want it and and I have to have it. So in lieu of that, what I did was I actually have this book. This is one of the Tilda books, and this is the Crafting Christmas Gifts. And it has the, this is the one that has the pattern for the snowman, the penguin, and the, um, let me see where the gingerbread man. And the gingerbread man. But it also has the pattern for, not that I apparently know where it is. <laughs> um, it also has the pattern for the, um, the, oh, there it is, for the little gingerbread man. But it also has a pattern if you want to make them appliques. And you, it also has a pattern for cards, um, to make them as cards. But what I did for this project is I took one of these images that are throughout the um, throughout the book. It has the penguin, the snowman, and several other. And I scanned it on my computer, and then I printed it on cardstock. And um, I also, let me move this out of the way. I also um, took the bow die, the uh, Tim Holtz bow die, it's the strip one, and I took the smallest bow, and this is what I did. So I took this, this one, now this one I didn't actually round. What I did was I took the tool that I used, you know, that you use to um, round the edges for, um, for flowers, and I used that around here to make it more dimensional on all the ones that I used. This one was an extra one that I made, and then I just took some glossy accents on the little candy buttons and on the eyeballs. The funny thing is on the eyeballs, I put too much on this one, and it looks kind of funny. But anyway, um, this is from the Country Red, from the Tilda Country Red paper stack right here. Just made the little bows, and, and you can still see the bow that it has on the image. I just made the bow the size that I needed to cover it. So anyhow, for this card, I used my other Tilda papers. This is the Winter Memories, and I only bought one of these and the Christmas Play. And I, of course, you guys know I get my paper from artatechsupplies.com, which I'll leave the link in the description. Um, but I messaged Tracy. I'm like, I need more. I need another one so I can use one and hoard one of them. So I used, um, out of the country one, which, out of this one, what did I use? Um, I used one of these little clothespins, the die cuts. I used, um, one of these and I'll show you where that I used that one and I also used this paper as you can see right here because I had to cut out a doily and I wanted to use it because I wanted it to be a doily I was going to use white but I wanted it to look to look like a snowflake I do like a doily snowflake and it was big enough and I used my magnolia um tilde doily die for that one and that's the one where it's this one right here and it's half of a, a doily. What you do is you make it, on, you cut it on one side, then you flip the paper over, and then you cut the other side. I will. I actually made a tutorial um, where I kind of figured it out. Hopefully, it's the right way to do it, but um, on how I did it, and I'll put that link in the description as well. So I used this paper because I really like the stars, and um, this uh, cutout right here. And yeah, so let me show you guys what I made. I made this card and it's, it's kind of simple. I wanted to make kind of a simple card and sorry for the glare because of course I had to make it um, with a mason jar in it and I used the um, Top Dogs mason jar die and if you guys do purchase this they have like a um, and I found out afterwards <laughs> they have a um, 
referral program which you know if someone sends you they get points and you get points so let me know and i can you know put the send you the link or whatever anyway um so here is the jar and i used acetate to make the jar to make it look real and i actually embossed it with my handmade embossing folder that says ball so there here is where i used here's where i used a little clothespin oh with the little um holly berries I made this tag. Oh, this one's from the Sweet Christmas, and this Enjoy is uh, a Greeting Farm die. And it just, you know, like, it's Enjoy a, a jar of cookies. And here is where I use this die. Just a little die cut to kind of hang from there. Very simple card, nothing too crazy. There's some jute twine. Here's that uh, background paper. Oh, and the cardstock that I used is the Recollections, the Ivory 110 pound, because this had a lot on it so it had to be pretty sturdy and here are the cookies the little gingerbread cookies with the bows and they're just kind of stacked in here piled in the little jar and here's where that banner is and here i made a little tiny one oh and i also distressed them with um vintage photo and just put that one there and this was part of this die cut and i stamped this this is an old christmas stamp i had and obviously you can see it didn't stamp all the way but it was kind of hard because that made it curve so it go on this little banner but there it is, and here's a jute twine and everything. Um, the doily is behind it. And the card can actually stand like this. And as you can see, it's the, the jar is a little separate. So as you guys, um, maybe if you guys follow my videos, um, my cards, as simple as they get, I want them to be, I still want them to do something cool and awesome. So let me show you what this one does. This is actually, um, oh, and it opens this way. This is actually um, an easel card. So as part of the decoration, I put this little clothespin with the little hollies. So it looks like it's actually clipped onto the um, the jute twine, but it's actually on a um, a brad so it can swing. And here is what my card does. It stands. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's a, it's a it's a <laughs> it's an easel card, so of course it's gonna stand. But here is where I used this doily die so what I did was I made the doily out of that paper and I also made a second layer on this section right here so this is where the jar sits and this is what it looks like it stands oh and I also used blue um, vellum in um, in the jar so it looks like one of the blue mason jars which I totally totally love so let me I'm actually going to take the phone off of the um, my clip so you can see Hopefully I'm not making anybody dizzy. But there is the, and that's how it stands. And you can actually, since it's actually made out of acetate and the blue vellum, you can see right through it. Even when it's on the thing, you can see the stars through it. Um, so it, it actually stands. Super cool, huh? Well, at least I think it's super cool. And this way, it doesn't necessarily have to be like Christmas. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It does say enjoy, and it, you know, it has like, it could be just for any kind of season, except for it does say Merry Christmas at the bottom, but you see the larger part of it. Now, the cool thing is, and let me set my um phone back up here. The cool thing, or the cooler thing for me, is that, oh, and I also... I actually, the, the part that makes it um, an easel card is also made out of um, acetate. And I glued that on with hot glue because you can't just use regular glue. So let me show you. The cool thing is, let me grab some tweezers because I don't want to put my fat fingers in it. These, this is technically, it could be a shaker card because if you, because it's double layered from the front and the back, these cookies actually come out. Isn't that crazy? Oh, and let me show you on this one. This is where I took that tool and made it more of a beveled. Uh, a rounded edge so it kind of gives it more dimension and actually all of these cookies can come out so yeah so i hope you guys like it let me know what you guys think and even if you take you can whoever receives this can actually take these out and use them on their projects makes the make the tags like the um let me pull my ipad again um like the tags that um uh, come in because i actually do plan on making something like this where it's the tag and the little gingerbread man for Christmas. So isn't that super cute? Well, I think it's super cute. But there it is. And like I said, the person can take the little gingerbread cookies out and use them and or put other stuff in there and it, it'll even sit. Oh, let me take that off. It'll even sit. And of course, it's stuck on the jute twine like that with just a few cookies. So yeah. 
Hope you guys like it. I think it's a little genius on my part. It took me a while because one day I made the, the jar and one day I made the cookies and it was just kind of back and forth. And the funny thing is I found it under the other project that I was doing. I'm like, oh my goodness, I haven't put this thing together. And here it is. And the jar, um, I can say that, and you'll be able to see it, I used a full sheet of acetate. I took it and I scored it like just a hair be between the... Um, the the actual uh cut of this die and i folded it so it's actually threefold and that's that's what it base and this is a full on jar um because see you can actually stick your hand in there so it's a, it, it actually wraps around the whole thing and that's how i got it to actually encompass everything and be able to take out the cookies they're my little gingerbread cookies so yes um but yeah that is i sound like such a dork that is my project let me know what you guys think and i will talk to you guys soon Bye, everyone.